Hello and welcome back to Vivasha Music School. My name is Malcolm Sicolia and I'm here to take you through rhythm. So rhythm is one of the backbones of music and I'm here to discuss a few rudiments of uh, rhythm with you. So we first of all begin with the introduction. Uh, what is rhythm? According to the English dictionary, rhythm is the strong, irregular, repeated pattern of movement of sound. Well, uh, yeah, it's a good definition, but it does not quite suit our need when it comes to music. So in music, we can uh, say basically on a cheap note that it's just music's pattern in time. That's a correct definition, but it's a bit light and uh, most probably not what we'd expect as a professional. And uh, so basically, we'd say it is the timing or duration of an element in a composition of music. It is the timing or duration of an element in a composition of music. Basically, it is the duration of a musical idea. So each note is assigned a different duration. So as uh, to make a melody which it should uh, suit uh, the definition of music like we discussed in the previous video. So rhythm uh, occurs in pulses caused by strong and weak beats. And so this is where the dictionary definition comes in. So the, the dictionary said it's a strong, regular, repeated patterns of music of sound. And so in music, when you're talking about a rhythm, how it occurs, it occurs in uh, uh, pulses caused by the strong and weak beat. So we have the strong, weak, strong, weak beat, strong beat, weak beat, strong, weak, strong, weak, or strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak, or strong, weak, 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 strong, weak, 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 and many other ways in which they can occur. So these beats are organized in such a way that they are uniform throughout a piece of music, if not changing once or twice. And uh, they are organized in a, uh, something called meter. So this meter is the cycling of pulse pattern of equal or an equal length. Yeah, it is the cycling of pulse pattern of equal and unequal length. So this uh, meter is uh, marked by something called time signature, which we will discuss in uh, the next or maybe the other lesson. But uh, we'll talk about this later. So here I'm going to discuss with you the few, uh, few types um, of uh, musical notes. And so we'll begin uh, with uh, the basic bit of music which uh, is called the crotchet. So this is what a crotchet looks like. So this is where it is facing stem down. But when it's facing a stem up, this is what it looks like. So that is the crotchet, the basic bit of music. Then uh, we're going to look at the next soul. Uh, this is not the longest bit. We have other long bits, which I'm going to discuss in relation to this crotchet. So we have, uh, when we put uh, two crotches together, we form something called a minim. And this is what a minim looks like. So you can see from your screen that there are two uh, minims and four quivers. Uh, sorry, crotchets, and you can see that uh, the line towards the end, called a bar line, is uh, in line for the crotchets and for the minims. So it means that the two minims are equal to the four crotchets. Then uh, when we put two minims together, we form something called a semibrief. So that's what we call a semibrief. So the semibrief, one semibrief is equal to two uh, minims, and then the same one semi brief is equals to four quivers. Sorry, four crotchets. Then we're going to look at quivers now that my tongue keeps on slipping towards it. Uh, these are the quivers. So two quivers make up one crotchet. That is one crotchet, two crotchets, three crotchets, four crotchets. So you find like eight quivers are equal to four crotchets, which are equal to two minims, which are equal to one semi brief so basically one semi brief is equal to eight uh quivers then we're going to look at semi quivers 
So this is what semiquavers look like. Semiquavers, just from the word semiquaver, semi, so it's the semi of a quaver, so it's half quaver. So two semiquavers make up one quaver. So one quaver, two quavers, three quavers, four quavers, five quavers, six quavers, seven quavers, eight quavers. So 16 semiquavers make up eight quavers, which make up four crochets, two minims, or one semibrief. And it goes on and on in that way. So you find that mostly you wouldn't find uh, music just written in such a way. You find that these are uh, younger bits that are smaller than the crochet. They are joined in such a way that they match the crochet. So that's why I'm talking of them in relation to the crochets. So you find like uh, two quivers are beamed. We call it beam. So they are beamed to match uh, with one crochet. So you find like one crochet is equals to two quivers. And then it's also going to be equals to uh, four semi-quivers. So we beam the four semi-quivers. Then we come over here. Uh, we beam these two. We beam these two. And we beam these two. So you can see each beaming is in relation to a crochet. Each beaming is in relation to a crochet. We can also do the same on the semi-quivers. These are the group. And to the final one, we group. So uh, that's how organized music looks like so when you group the beats it becomes easier for a performer to see the value of the notes and to be also to be play to play them and as a result our work looks neat um also not forgetting the fact that uh the note values can be divided as to as small as possible or it can be combined as to as large as possible provided that the performer is able to perform the notes accurately so um that marks the end of our introduction to rhythm uh, lesson please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and also uh, like the video if you have any questions uh, my phone number is on the comment section you can just uh, give me a call or whatsapp me there is no problem with that otherwise i want to issue a wish day uh, i want to wish you a lovely day as I look forward to teaching you the next part of Rhythm. Thank you so much.